Welcome to video number 8 of this series which is on implementing a live project on Cognos. This series of videos is going to tell you how to implement a project and the steps involved for a successful Cognos reporting implementation model. So we are going to continue with the next set video number eight and please feel free to email me at bharti.dwconsultancy at gmail.com for, for the database or any project you would like me to share. So going forward uh, we're going to talk about how are we making sure that this model is ready for reporting. In the last video, doing just a quick recap, we created the database layer, business layer and presentation layer and we dragged and dropped the tables from the database in the database layer. Next step is to identify the usage properties of every column of the tables imported. So click on properties and click on a column. The DT is date column and you can see that the usage, the usage here in the properties of DT says identifier. There are three options in Cognos, identifier, facts or attributes for usage you can set. So identifier are those columns which can, which can uniquely identify a row. It's not a primary key really, but it's like a code, date or ID. So this is my way of dealing the project. Any column, which is either an ID, code like customer code, employee code, product code or a date like date of joining, sales date, date of last login, all these dates I would, I would make them as an identifier. So identifier are like nouns which can be used to identify a, a particular set of data record. For example, uh, when I say noun in terms of grammar, English grammar, noun, uh, noun is the name of a person, place, animal or a thing. So ID are going to be unique for a particular person like employee ID is going to be unique for an employee in any organization. So from a business perspective, I would consider that as an identifier. This year column, YR is year. This is going to be an attribute to date. So an attribute is something which we can derive from an identifier. So if you have date, you can find out the year, quarter, months, quarter name and month name. So in this case, we are going to make them as attributes. So year, quarter, quarter name, month and month name all would be attributes. I'm going to select all. I'm using shift and going to select everything. Go here in the usage section. Go to attribute. Make the quarter as attribute. You can see there are two arrows just like Microsoft Excel. Drag this lower arrow, not the top one, but the bottom one all the way through and you can see everything becomes an attribute. It copies whatever you have set on the first line. Going to the customer, customer ID, customer code and customer date of birth. I would set it up 
as identifier and remaining name city country and type I'm gonna set up as attributes going to D prod I'm gonna set prod ID and product code usage property as identifiers F sales this is a fact so this table would have the fields which we call it as quantitative fields quantitative fields it's like a field which is numeric in nature most likely numeric in nature and when you perform any arithmetic operation on it it's gonna give you some meaningful information for example unit cost unit price quantity salary salary is a number so if you want to calculate a salary monthly or quarterly you just add the numbers up and everything else in the fact table which is not a fact I would set it up as identifier so every single column of the tables we imported from the database is is set either an identifier or an attribute or a fact in the next video we're going to talk about how we are going to create joints between the tables and make the data ready for reporting the model ready for reporting keep watching the series this series